Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for King of Death Monsters Halloween 2019 order. This time around we've got two models, being the Death High Disciple of the Witch and Oktoberfest Aya. Let's start off with the art model of Death High, as per usual. So, I've never gotten anything of the Disciple of the Witch before, but I've always found them really nice, and I'm very happy that they are coming in the wave four of the second Kickstarter. So, we've got the model in the bag, but first, let's start off with the cards here. So, to begin with, she is a first print run. Number 133, we arbitrary pointless number, but still cool. Then we've got her mini card, which is a zoomed in version of the full art card. Oh, and it has the name on the bottom this time. I don't think they usually did that. Then we have her full art card, which she looks very folksy with that really cool book. Wonder if she has any weapons on her like most of them do, the Death High models that is. Be that some makeshift weapon or an actual weapon as that's been happening lately. She is a one space model like the rest of them. Wondering if they're ever gonna be like, here's the teachers, they're the monsters. Either that or the starting survivors. Oh boy, there are some really tiny pieces. So, again, this is the orange photo resin, not the death gray resin. I've never been able to get one of those. And I don't really think I want to because it's just more for a slightly more solid model as opposed to the fact that this stuff's all more solid than resin. So, we've got her body. Or at least, what is most of her body? Legs, torso, yada yada. And we've got her cloak, which also has her backpack on it. In fact, it looks like it's hanging from her backpack. So there's the straps for the backpack, and you can see the backpack now. And here's the cloak, which also has, ooh, thank you, Zoom, a pair of hands coming out of it. Hmm, interesting. And we have her head with the very looks like it's made of flower hat design that the normal one has and her hair in there and everything very curly hair and we've got what i don't even know what this is honestly oh her arm is attached to this bag by the way so this looks more like a shoulder piece there's another hand here just a separate hand it kind of looks like the one that would be part on the book, but it's definitely different. I don't know where it goes. I'll have to figure that out. And then speaking of the hand on the book, we have that. So here is the book and everything. You can now see the arm. And this whole thing here is a bit that dangles from it. I'm guessing this is as close as it gets to a weapon, but also she's a witch. Who needs weapons when you can do magic, or whatever the equivalency of magic in Kingdom Death is? Because Boots has specifically said he doesn't like using traditional fantasy tropes in Kingdom Death, like the actual setting. He loves them, but he hates using them in his game setting. Okay, so that's all put away. Let me get that out of the way. Now on to Oktoberfest. Ah, yeah the newest of the has a large model and has a small model holiday themes. These started, I believe, Halloween of last year with Devil Satan. It's still right over there because of some complications that did get fixed. Basically a piece was missing and I had to wait till this Halloween to reorder it. Not that I am recording this anywhere near Halloween. Oh boy, I have a massive backlog. So, Here she is. Ooh, is there no small? Okay, I didn't see the base for the smaller model. So she is a four space and a one space model, just like all of these are. And they put everything on the one sprue, including the items you can get. So sometimes on these, it's a little difficult to tell the difference between the larger model pieces and the smaller model pieces like oi this is just all over the place but she sits on a barrel made of two pieces which is pretty much the base minus the fact of the base itself so it doesn't have a topper she has 
Oh, okay, I see. They made it so that you pretty much have to choose whether or not she is actually wearing a skirt. Because skirt? No skirt! For the normal size one. Uh, and yeah, she's just all over the place. We've got her two legs, majority of her torso. Her head is... The back of her head is split in the middle with her hair. And looks like... I don't know what that is. There's the front of her smaller face right there. Yeah, this is just all over the place. The bosom is a separate place. And this time it's actually the whole bosom, not just the breast. That's at least a little better. Again, it's really awkward. I understand why they do it, but it's still awkward. Uh, and then we've got the keg top and bottom, I think. I believe the item this time around might actually be be a shield made out of part of a keg but it looks like also the sword isn't here but it's also part of the new crafting system so we've got a bunch of item cards here including the art card which is why i didn't get to that earlier there she is clearly already drunk too all right and then we've got six cards in total these are all from the new crafting system Thankfully, they're not like the 10th anniversary cards, which are poorly cut almost across the board entirely. Poots, seriously, you know better. You do better. But we've got three items. Oh, and these feel like they've got a nice finish on them, too. They're, they're very slidy. We've got the Durnell Melee Weapon which is ethereal, meaning you have, if I'm correct, you have to go off with a savior. Although this one's not other, so the savior can... After Death Brew, Consumable, Soluble, and Brave Durndal, which is armor, cloth, chest piece. It's literally her outfit. So, there's that, that one, and that one. The weapon has the reminder of... Ethereal on the back, which, yeah, Survivor must be insane and depart with a savior to wear it. Again, this one's not other, unlike the original item, so maybe they can, but I'm guessing it has to be somebody else. And it's when you depart with one or less armor in each hit location after all of the departing bonuses, add armor equal to your courage to all hit locations. So this is potentially a, hey, I wear, I have this. I have 10 armor. I might not be wearing anything else. Cool. The brew is action. Like, lightning bolt, remember, act and action are two different things. Consume this and gain five bleeding tokens. So you already have to be able to survive past five bleeding tokens, such as last man standing. During aftermath, roll 1d10 for each survivor that died from bleeding tokens. Okay. On a 9+, plus, the brew saves their lives, but makes them death. I could see that in some interesting builds, especially if you're using the white speaker promo items, which are all do more based on how many bleeding tokens you have, but also gain bleeding tokens for using them. And then the armor bit is one armor. It is actually both body and waist. Once per lifetime, when you are a returning survivor, and this is your only armor you are wearing, gain plus one courage. If your settlement has Song of the Brave, gain plus one permanent strength, too. Hmm, okay. Let's see what kind of stuff it takes to craft these. So, these are crafting items 7 through 9. I believe the first six are from the 10th Anniversary Survivors, which is where the system was officially released. The sword takes two iron, one leather, and one other gear or resource. A savior, because again, this stuff is also has some lower steps. Uh, although that, I, I can't remember if the lower steps are to discover the recipe, or have the recipe, or if it's just you also need this to make it in the process. Uh, savior, the blacksmith, and returning survivor who was regurgitated. Uh, that's not easy. The brew is blistering plasma fruit, so you need the lonely tree, I believe. Love juice and scrap, those aren't too hard, they're both general items. Heat, 
pottery, and that's it. That one's not too hard. And the armor, you need two cloth, one leather, and a skull cap hammer? Huh. And if I'm correct, right now the only cloth off the top of my head is the anything made with silk? I'm not too sure about that. And you need a returning survivor with an instrument to inspire design. That's just what it says. And a bone sickle to properly size the choker and armlet accessories. Okay. But regardless, that's everything. Just item cards, the two models themselves. Well, three models really, but one's two are one sprue. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy, feel free to share this video. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see any of these models constructed or more so painted on my channel? And I will try to get to them sooner than other things that I have queued up. Or if you'd like me to go over more Kingdom Death stuff, including giving me encouragement to really get on with my detailed overview videos or some more general overview videos of like all the white box stuff or detailed overviews of those. Although again, I might not get to those until after I'm done with the 12 expansions, which means after the core game. If you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, all three of which I do for Kingdom Death Monster, and anything else you might want to see on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.